Hello everyone and welcome to this Korea Square review video. Today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Korea Square and as usual if you do have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below. Also I'll be leaving a discounted link in this video's description so that you can always get your money's worth for Korea Square. So Korea Square basically allows you to create, scale, and also share all of your social media things by using AI. So AI is one of those things that's becoming huge at the moment, and being able to use it in order to improve the way that you get out sort of social media content, the way that you create it, the way that you think of ideas for your actual page is really, really excellent. So having all these tools in one place where you're able to create and make sure that you know exactly how to do it and also increase the efficiency of everything is absolutely brilliant. So here is our main dashboard and originally you'll come on with a onboarding thing we're not going to go ahead and do that but you can do that if you want it will take about 10 minutes to complete but we're going to get straight into it so the four options that we've got a calendar ai writer studio and connections and we also have a fifth one of learning center but that's more if you want to sort of learn how certain features work and learn a little bit more about the software but as for the actual use case of the software we'll be mainly using these so calendar allows us basically to see when posts are scheduled pretty much you can create a new post you can select which social media accounts the post is actually going to be sent to, any details about it, the first comment, upload content, and then it will have all the information. So that is more or less it for the post scheduler. It's very easy to do. You obviously need to connect them. I'm not going to go ahead and actually connect any social media pages because I don't need to do that. But if you do actually want to publish them onto there, you will have to. You can then put, as I said, the post details. This is more or less the caption and the thing about what the post is actually going to be about. The first comment on the post and then obviously the content itself so whatever the post is the actual image that's where you would put it and you can choose to duplicate save it as a draft and also schedule a publication date and hit schedule for later that's completely up to you you can sort this by day, month, whatever you want. You can also sort it through the week so you can see on a weekly basis or a monthly. And you can also set the time zone so any city in the world that you live in, it will have it listed on here. You have absolutely loads of them, over 100, um, and that's really, really useful to have as well. But the main features that people are going to use are the AI writers and the studio. So the AI writer basically is a writing studio where in it you're able to create any form of text from a simple prompt. So hitting generate new, you'll be able to put in the use case. So this is basically what type of text that you want. For example, you could have an ad for Google, you could have a LinkedIn ad or a LinkedIn post, you could have YouTube ideas, YouTube intros. So we'll go ahead and do YouTube intros for this one. Now you have the language. We'll obviously set it to English and the tone will be excited and the video title will be S23 unboxing. And the hook is basically what the video is about. Unboxing a Samsung Galaxy S23. And when I hit generate, what this will do is load our result for us. It will have generated an introduction for a YouTube video simply by putting in a YouTube title and a hook. So this is what it will come out with. So it's given us two results. We've got result one, which is what's up folks? Get ready to witness the ultimate unboxing experience. We're here to unravel the brand new Galaxy S23, the smartphone we've all been eagerly waiting for. I can barely contain my excitement as we dive into the packaging and unveil the sleek design, stunning display and draw dropping features of this latest masterpiece from Samsung. Trust me, you won't want to miss a single detail. So sit back, grab your popcorn and let's get this party started. So there you have it. You do also have two, you can upvote them if you want, you can copy it to the clipboard if you want to or you can just completely delete it if it's really not what you're looking for um, and then we'll have option two which I won't read the whole thing through but you can read this and pause the video if you want to and have a read through about what the other one has got but it's nice that it gives you more than just one option it gives you two so instead of just having to generate every single time you have two so it saves you time then one of them in the first generation or second generation might be what you want however it might have taken four or five if you hadn't actually got the one that you first originally wanted or you didn't really like it you also have a load more so let's do one more and we'll go ahead and do a product description um, and the product name will be opulent vacuum cleaner and the description is more or less what it is um, and then it will write it for us a vacuum cleaner worth 399 pounds um, very powerful um, very good build quality and we'll put one more thing we'll say um 
comes in black, white, or purple. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and hit generate. And then what it will do is write a lengthier product description for that specific product. So I'll be back when it's created, it, no need. Here we go. So number one, powerful suction for deep cleaning. Durable build quality for long lasting use. Available in sleek, black, crisp white, or luxurious purple. Lightweight and easy to maneuver for effortless cleaning. HEPA filter captures 99.9% .9 of dust and allergens for cleaner air. Attachments for versatile cleaning on any surface. Large capacity dustbin reduces the need for frequent emptying. Energy efficient design saves you money on your electricity bill. And finally, an ergonomic handle for comfortable use using extended cleaning sessions. So they are the things that it's come up with. And that is more or less the AI writer. You've seen all the use cases that you can use it for. And being able to do that is absolutely brilliant. So we'll move on to the studio now, which is basically where you can create the posts itself. It's really, really good. So select a template, select a diet and upload your content. So if we wanted, for example, a regular Instagram post, we'd click on this and it would come up with our editor. You basically can then put any of the templates that the website has and you have really simple editing options on the left which you're able to customize it to your own desire. So for example, this here, you can drag around your images on it. Obviously, if you wanted to, you then have the option to go through uploads to upload your own images if you wanted to. You also have a large amount of inbuilt, you know, stock footage or stock photos that you could do. You can simply do one click and then you can drag it onto an area and that is what it would allow you to do. Really, really useful. You also have stock videos. If you want to use any of them, you can simply click and it will appear. Music as well. It uses a really good music library with plenty of things that you will find a are really useful also you have some animations so any animations that you want to fit your thing you can simply go ahead and search if mine was to do with a beach i would hit enter and you have loads of animations to do with beaches seas oceans seasides anything like that to create your perfect project you also have objects if there's anything that you wanted to put on somebody if you wanted some headphones for instance you could put these headphones in the image or if that wasn't really taking your pick, you can get rid of them and you could obviously drag them wherever you want in the image. Then you will have the background options. So as you can see, we've got this blue sort of um, blueprint background that we've got. And if we go ahead and click on any one of them, it will immediately change that for us. You can do photos, video backgrounds if you really wanted to, it would look a little bit like that. And also you have colors if you just want a plain linear color for your backdrop. And then finally, we have the options for text and brand kits, which basically are if you wanted to brand it, if you wanted to put any big bold text or titles or anything like that on it, you can change everything to do with it. You can change the size, the font, the color, any animations that it has, things like that. But it also comes with some presets. So if there are any of these that you like, you're able to use them too. And I think that that's really, really good. And as I said, for brand kits, you simply just put your logo in and it will automatically apply onto the image for you so that you can have a watermark or a thumbnail for your company on there so nobody takes what you've made. And that is more or less it for the studio. And then finally, the connections page. I think we talked through this earlier. Basically, you can just add all of the social media pages that you've got so that when you actually go to publish something, these are the ones that it will publish to. But that is more or less it for Crea Square. So what do I think about this software? And in all honesty, I have to admit, it's really, really good. I love how seamless it is to use. I love the utilities. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. The AI writer has everything you need. And I like how they're tailor-made specifically for more marketing side of things. Because a lot of AI writers are either completely vague and they don't give you templates and things that it will write about. Whereas other marketing things are much more niche and you know do a, a, a large range of things, maybe much more creative and fun stuff. This is much more a professional piece of software and it's nice to just have it knuckled down into a professional software rather than have to filter through all the things that you might not want to use. It knows and it targets exactly the right audience and that is one of the things I love about it. As for why people might want to use a software like this, I think it's basically people who want to increase the efficiency of how they get those social media things out into the public. Being able to do it very, very easily using AI and having things ready and simply one click publish without having to create it, write the caption yourself, copy and paste stuff and then have to go onto the app, select it, wait for it to upload, things like that. You can automate it all from this software and that is the thing that I like the most. And just being able to see everything on an overview on the calendar is what I appreciate the most about this software. But thank you everyone so much for watching. I will see you next time, but until then, goodbye.